Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CTIA President and CEO, Meredith Atwell Baker. Welcome everybody. We're so happy you've joined us for CTIA's showcase of everything wireless. Please join me in welcoming DJ Bella Fox. I'm thrilled that she's back with us this year. People think of wireless as a telecom industry, infrastructure and towers, and we are absolutely that. But today, we are so much more. We are now a people industry, impacting lives every day. How they work, how they learn, how they play. We make technology matter by connecting people to other people and increasingly to things. By every step, by every metric, we see how wireless is now central to your life, to your job, to your family. My favorite one, the average American now spends more than one third of their daily lives on their smartphone because Everything is wireless. And that's what you'll see this week. Supermobility offers a glimpse at our future. We are lucky enough to have key thought leaders and disruptors on the stage sharing what's next. Our Mobile Intelligence Conference offers deep dive sessions on business strategies and consumer trends. And the one thing that you will take away from this week is that 5G is coming and it's coming fast. The first 5G trials in the United States were announced on this stage last year at Supermobility. This week, you'll get a glimpse of what 5G will actually be. I've seen field trials from around the country. 5G will be transformative. It will be faster than many Americans' home broadband. Think about that. Gigabit wireless speeds, like ultra HD movies downloading wirelessly. And it will be more than fast. 5G will be significantly more responsive. How much more responsive? Watch this. Let's take a car traveling 60 miles per hour and connect it to a 4G network. From the time you remotely tell the car to start to brake, the car would travel 4.6 feet. With tomorrow's 5G networks, that same car now reacts in one inch. That's the difference between life and death. And that's revolutionary. The potential for new, real-time innovations are limitless. And with that innovation, we will connect every device, every person, and every task. You'll see boundless of 5G opportunities on our show floor. It's been transformed into a smart city. Go check out the new experience zones or the hundreds of exhibitors that are on display. See firsthand the companies that are trialing new technologies. See the new applications from cars and drones to VR and more. Go experience your 5G future. But before you do, let's talk a little bit about how we're gonna get there. CTIA fights for the government policies we need to deliver on the 5G promise. We need the next generation of innovation to happen here. We need the United States to remain the global leader in mobile. It's critical for our nation. We generate millions of jobs and billions of dollars for our economy. But for me, the driving reason is because wireless offers hope for those who need it most for the elderly dad who wants to keep his independence, for rural Americans to find the medical health care they need, and for our kids to see the world. That's why we do this. We create these opportunities based on our culture of disruption. It's a culture I love, and a culture that CTIA defends every day. To unlock our 5G future, we need to follow the playbook that has worked so well for 4G. This starts 
with our competitive spirit that drives this industry every day. Competition drives us to better serve our customers and to build a better network. We will also need to invest. We have invested tens of billions in 4G, and I'm confident we'll do it again for 5G because no one invests in this nation like we do. We are very good at making it look easy, but it isn't easy, and we can't do it alone. We need bold action from policymakers, too. First, we need regulators to support new innovations that are driven by competition, like free data. Second, we need privacy rules applied equally to everyone in the internet economy. And third, we need spectrum. Spectrum is something we will always talk about because it's essential to what we do. Mobile traffic more than doubled last year. So, what's driving all of this demand? Two words, Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay, well not just Taylor Swift, but she's a good example. A single Taylor Swift concert in San Francisco saw nearly four terabytes of mobile traffic. Okay, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of Taylor Swift Shake It Off fans out there, so let's try a different example for this audience. The Super Bowl. During last year's game, mobile traffic jumped 250% of 16 terabytes. So that's like streaming music 24 seven for 22 years. Keeping up with the skyrocketing demand is going to require much more spectrum. We are in the middle of the 600 megahertz auction right now. This went from idea to reality in record time, a remarkable accomplishment. This multi-stage auction will deliver critical spectrum to better serve our mobile consumers. And earlier this summer, we were able to secure 11 gigahertz of new high band spectrum for mobile broadband. This is historic. We are grateful to FCC Chairman Wheeler and this administration. They've done great work on spectrum. And so have our engineers. They have found ways to make spectrum usable that was considered unusable until now. I mean, we forget that the mobile world stopped at three gigahertz not so long ago. All of these steps are momentous, but we're growing too fast not to keep moving forward. Before this administration goes, we need to schedule the high band auction, and we need to make clear that all innovators can use unlicensed spectrum on the same terms. The next president must have an aggressive 5G plan. Every company today has a mobile strategy, so too must our nation. We need a schedule of spectrum to be auctioned over the next decade, a pipeline that includes hundreds of megahertz with a mix of low, medium, and high band spectrum. And we will not have these 5G services without a 5G infrastructure. We need siting rules at every level of government to be streamlined for new small cells at reasonable rates. I believe with the leadership of mayors like Mayor Reed of Atlanta and Mayor James of Kansas City, who are here with us, we will have smart cities that will revolutionize urban America. Everyone in this room is working on our 5G future together. And there has never been a more exciting time to be part of our industry. Mm -hmm.